we recently received a suggestion from one of our subscribers asking if maybe we could do more of a behind the scenes and show what it takes to really get into some of these locations. You know, through the magic of editing, we're at the top and then magically we appear at the bottom or we show specific points throughout the descent to make it look all nice and smooth. Some of the techniques that we and, and some of the other mine explorers use to make a seamless video. So in this episode, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna leave out the magic of editing and we're gonna show you some of the problems that we actually go through and how we assess and overcome and sometimes not overcome. No matter how much data you think you have and all the information in the world, you don't know what you're getting into until you actually get there and get into it. So sit back and enjoy. We're gonna call this episode The Descent. Hello everyone, today we're going to be going down a gold, lead, and silver mine. Uh, the dates on this one were from 1922 to about 1940. As you can see there's an ore bin up there, there's some adits that have been collapsed up there, there's a miner's cabin there, there was another one that was collapsed and a couple of vertical shafts there. But today we're going to be going down this guy here. This shaft supposedly goes down about 600 feet and there's side drifts i'm not sure exactly how far in uh, as we go down they're going to descend and go off to the side so we're going to find out so joe's ready he's up on deck getting ready to go down and we will see you down there your slack the one coming out of the top is your slack so we're gonna give you slack yep give him a give him a, about three feet yeah. and I'll keep feeding it to you from here oh, no, hold on to it. nope I will keep feeding it as you go I'm gonna get up here and sit straight vertical when you get down. Oh, I just broke a lot around. That's what I thought. I knew one of them was broken. Stay to the sides. Avoid the middles because these are these things are old and brutal. Drop your rope under your hand. There you go. Perfect. There's a Oh yeah, it's, it's cracked at the top. Yeah. 
No, I'm coming up on it though. Okay. There's a lot of lot of wood piled up. <laughs> Okay, hold up right there. Yep. Okay, it's collapsed or just went back about five feet and there's a bunch of boards. Okay. And anything to the other way? It's collapsed, but they had it framed out at one time. Okay. Now, hold on. Okay, so I'm about 60 feet from the bottom. Okay. Here. Uh, just when you come down, there's, there's good size foot ledge and there's a bunch of handful of rocks. Okay. Just. All right. The yeah. And it's, this is pretty solid right here. Okay. Whatever. But the vent pipe stops here. Okay. Are you going to descend the rope or are you going to continue on with rope? No, I'm going to have to do it with the rope. When you get past here, it's. It's straight up. It's just like that. Okay, so it's pretty vertical. But unless it's just... Okay. Let's just see how good the... Uh, Your call, buddy. Let's You're just... Down there, Are we, how are we on, how are we on rope? Good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. How are you doing on the slack rope? Oh, perfect. Just right there is perfect. Okay, I'm about to start the third part down. Just give me just a second. A lot of dirt falling. Yeah, hold up on the slack. Give me, let me get a little tension on it. I'm going to another vertical. Yeah.
Uh, hold on a minute and I'll look. I've got a beam in my way. You still hear me okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Give me just a second. I've got about four foot of slack and it's wrapped around some metal. Uh, can you pull up just uh, about a foot? Perfect, right there. Okay, Scott, I got about 40. Can you hear me on the radio? Hey. Can you hear me on the radio? Yes. Okay, so there's uh, about 40 feet straight down, and then I can't see it branches off from there going straight down. Okay, we're gonna need more rope. Okay, so I'm at a dead end now? Uh, you got probably about seven or eight feet left. What? Oh wow! Uh, so you're 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 well over 100 feet. You're 150 something feet. I'd say I'm not even halfway. Okay. Let me go as far as I can get. Unless you want to come up to this first station, I'll bring the rope down. We'll tie it off and then continue down from there. So as y'all can see, <laughs> I have 160 foot of rope on this one and another 160 feet, so we'll see. And I think Scott's got 160 foot. But I am just standing. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause it right here for a second till we get the other rope hooked up. Okay, Scott, you got a copy? Yeah. Okay. I'm somewhere where I can unhook. There's a couple of levels. Uh, so he can come down. But it looks like another 200 feet. Uh, I need to go down another 10 feet and then I can get off. Okay. Should be red. Yes. Thank blinky, you. Blinky red. Yep. Your lights are not on. All right. All right, here we go. So if you let go, that breaks. Oh yeah. All right. It puts the brake on, not brake. Huh? So if I let go, I'm locked. Okay. So Scott's on the way. Yeah, 
All right, when I get to this first level, you guys want to send it down? Yes. Uh, yeah, because we're going to have to tie the green rope up here and lower the black rope. Do you have a carabiner? No. <clears throat> Shoot. Uh... I've got, oh, actually just use the one that's up there because you're going to disconnect it. Yeah. Okay. You're going to have, yeah, you're going to have to make, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. Two loops, carabine them together. Yeah. And then you're going to need to tie it off at the beam. If you don't have another carabiner he might have another one in the back of the jeep if he doesn't use that carabiner to tie the two ropes together unless you want to just tie the ropes but you know what i mean rope to rope right whatever you think is best dennis i trust you let me see wendy it's a black thin one Oh yeah, that's a black diamond. Ex oh, except it's not a locking. No, and then there's this thing. No, that's the figure eight. All right, do you want me to hold or do you want me to just keep going? No, just keep going. Just okay, keep all right, continue going. All right, yeah, I can see what he was talking about with the other levels. With the framing. My footing. Woo. Yep, sure was. Dennis, you want me to hold here or you want me to keep going? Uh. While well, you can still hear me. Yes. Right. I'm at the next set of ladders. All right, guys, that used to go back a little bit. Did you guys hear that? guys are messing with me <laughs> Joe can you hear me I'm at the first set of ladders can you hear me on the radio Ten four. I'm gonna hold here at the first first level, and Dennis is gonna swap it out and send it down to me, and then I'll take it as I go. Yeah, cause my green green, and I'm on the it's laying on the ladder, and I'm about to get the drift. So I don't have any any space, but uh, it still goes a long way, and there's uh, three puts off three ways to explore, and I'm gonna wait on you, but there's a. Uh, big wine bottle down here, a complete one, not in my box, uses, and a huge strong box is down here that I've never seen before. 10-4. 
Uh, he's going to hook up the ropes, and then I'll see you in a minute. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm coming down. Ten four. All right, guys, that's what we're looking at. It continues down pretty steep, and then it looks like it hooks off more of it a forty five there at the very bottom. Looks like there was some collapsing over here. That's obviously collapsed. Uh, this was either faced out and backfilled because it looks like they were just loading excess stuff in here. There's old cable and stuff in here. So nothing here to explore. So we're gonna continue down. Uh, we're hooking up another rope and then that way we can go down because he's at the bottom. So he's about 155 feet down and we need about another 200 foot of rope. So that's what we're doing now. So I'm gonna pause here and then as soon as we get ready to carry on, I will uh, start it back up and we'll see you uh, as we descend. Scott, can you hear me? Scott, can you hear me? Okay, we've got a lot of static right now on the radio. Tell Scott to come down. I'm free. Roger. I'm going to pause it right here. And y'all are the first to see. Uh, we have dynamite boxes and a metal box. All right, guys, we're back. And we just lowered the other rope. Got it secure. Heading down. Disconnected. to go. Stope back up in there. Had some ventilation pipe right there. I don't know if it goes over. It's too dangerous to get up that because all that's going to give way and fall down here. But it looks like there might be another drift uh, right past this last stall where that stall with the vertical boards is connected to. So I'll go down and assess. I'll be able to see a little bit better off of Joe's camera, but we're uh, going to find out here in a second. That's lovely. All right, 
how we doing? Still got a ways to go. Looks like there's another platform coming up here pretty soon. Let me hook my foot. There we go. And keep it managed. It's getting a little tight through here. drift here Joe did you explore this side drift no brother come on down we'll get that as we come up you'll want to come down here 10-4 all right sounds like we're gonna hit this one on the way back up continuing on dirt. Joe, you're killing me. Sorry guys, he gets excited, <laughs> as we all do, but. All right, let's get past this and see what we're looking at. All right, looks like they were, almost looks like backfill up through here. Man, that would be a bad day if that came in. He sounds like he's getting closer. Careful! Yeah. That dirt is wedged in the ladder. Yeah. I couldn't see it till I stepped on it. The only problem is we're getting on the verge of lack of surface connection or contact yeah. because like all the other BS that, that people say that radios magically go through thousands of tons of dirt, it doesn't. And I'm literally almost, almost line of sight except for a slight 45 here. Yeah. And we're already losing contact, so. Uh, do you want to tell him more? Just continue to sleep. They can ease that rope down. We, we've got a platform here, and we can feed it the rest of the way down. So if you want to tell him for you, that absolutely lose radio contact. Yeah. Watch that widowmaker up above you. Where at? See the, see just that wood going across? I don't, it's not tied to anything. Oh, yeah. And see the platform I walked across? Yes. And look straight down. Oh wow, we got a ways. Yeah. Okay. There's three different drifts here. All right, let me let me contact him. Dennis, can you hear me? Yeah. 
you have my radio or Dennis, are you there? <sighs> That's what I was worried about. The lower that, because look right here where I'm even. That's the end of the rope right here. It goes out about another 20 feet, and that's it. Shoot. That's why I was saying lower that yellow one will never be hooked to the Well, yellow. the problem is I couldn't lower the yellow one past me because it slides on the gree, gree I had to stay with right. the black rope. Right, but I'm saying when we, I'm sure we'll have enough where to stay on the black rope, but when we come up, he can feel the slack and pull it. The black rope is almost to the, to the first level. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of that. Please tell me I don't have to. <laughs> please, please, please tell me I don't have to climb back up there to get radio contact. <clears throat> hey, if you feel it like it's any better, you're not even a quarter of a way down. Oh my God. 600 feet, brother. Where you said, I heard you say, Dennis, I'm off road for back home. I was at the first level. Okay, I, how far is that back up? Right there. Well, I heard you. I don't know if he never responded. I well, we were doing uh, line of sight. Oh. So your radio was going to mine. Mine was going to his. Oh, okay. So we had like... He's going to have to lower it. Daisy chain. Yeah, but your rope only has a, is like a... You're fine. Your rope is like 120 feet, bud. The yellow one? It's not going to be enough. Well, there may be more. This right here, Scott? Just come on down to here. Let's just explore this for now. Just come on down. All right, continue on. Just come on down. I'll figure it out. I have to go down that road. Hey, uh, and copy. how did this get through the ladder? I don't know. It just, when y'all were pulling it up and down, that's how I did it. All right, I'm going to have to pull it back through. Ow, hitting me from above. What the hell? Yeah, it did me too. Hey, got a copy? It's just... Okay, my gree, gree in here is on that. Oh, take your gree, gree off. I don't want to lose that. Pull it back towards you so it doesn't fall. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm going to drop it. Yep. Okay. Are you secure there? Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering, should I throw the rope to you or should I throw it down? Now, let's just keep it here. Yeah, you want to swing it to me? Actually, I can probably throw it right here. Okay, yeah. Because we're going to wind up here. Make sure it doesn't get hooked on this nail. Perfect. Hey, be careful. Just remember, just that pot pulls away from the. So you need to grab home to the rail. The, the rail when you step. Step, bump, step, bump, bump. Okay? If you do a twist, you want to do it in the middle of the step, bump, twist, bump, step, bump. <coughs> Bump, bump. All right. Let me I'm gonna come off there. To... And we're back. There's Scott just coming down, unhooking. And uh, 
As y'all see, there's a some type of box sitting here. Some dynamite boxes, some fuses, a little bit of everything. So, splits three different ways, we'll find out. And, uh, see what we got. We got a blasting caps here, I believe. Did you already open the box? No. Yes. Yeah. It's heavy. You got to use two hands. There's nothing, uh, nothing to it though. Grab it up. Can you go back here? Wait till you smell the smell out of it. No bodies. Is that not, do you smell the oldness though? Yes, old wood. Okay, so you didn't go that way yet? I've, I've just sat right here on the ground resting. All right, let's continue on. Blasting, look at that old guy. Oh wow, that's cool. That goes back a little ways. Continuing straight. Guys, this is really short. I am like squatting through here. Okay, so that faces out. That stops. You okay? There was some old pipe through here. Hold on, I gotta do a helmet check. <sighs> okay, I think we're good. <sighs> Sorry guys, this is really shallow. I'm on my knees right now. <sighs> does, it, does it stop right there? No, sir. Look at old bit. Pretty neat. Look here. Oh, wow. Look at the stoping. I wonder if they use that. To climb up to work the stope. Look yeah. at the vein. Yep. All the way up and over. Wow. Let me get up here. That's a good, what, 25 feet? Yeah. That's not very secure. Yep. Looks like it might go up and over in a little pocket. I can't tell if it goes over, but they were dead. Either. Look at the veins though. They were definitely following these. It looks like into there. All right. It is tight through here. Yep, we gotta go back. I don't see any, anything back there. Burnt piece of wood. No artifacts down there at all. I gotta stand up. Oh. Old dynamite box. Yeah. It's got a name on it. Burn the handle. Nope, no name on it. We'll set that right there. Oh, looks like an old paint can. Yeah. Old jug. Uh, Blasting caps. Here's some paper, newspaper. Careful of those. Well. It's just a. Not really sure. Oh, well, don't. Coca Cola Bottling Company. Nice. That is. What is going on?
you may have better. Let's take a look. Oh shit, it's just falling apart. Coca-Cola. U.S. patent. I'm like afraid to open it because as soon as I open it... Oh my it's, gosh, it's bottles of Coke. It's starting to fall apart. Look here. Oh yeah. Little cap. Somewhere in there. Yeah, this is pretty far gone. I'm going to set that right there so somebody else can see it. Get a date on it. I didn't see any. They never have them. They tear the dates off before we get there. <laughs> yeah, this is... Hey, look, there's more of that strap rail. You got to enunciate your words. All right, are we crawling back there? It's up to you. So that means I'm crawling back there? <laughs> uh, you're younger. <laughs> I'm older than you, buddy. <laughs> Looks like some stuff. <sighs> it's up to you. You know we've got other ways to go. Yeah. I gotta see over that edge, though. Mm. Yeah, I just gotta know if there's anything there. there nice wad of rocks in my glove continuing on little pocket up there and it goes back and faces out of course it does Looks like it might go off to the left. All right. You guys hear me? Hello, do you have a copy? Joe's trying to get contact with the surface right now. to face out, but I can't actually see around the corner. It's gonna be it. I have a feeling it's just gonna be a pocket. Can you hear me? Yep, pocket and stops. Look at that quartz vein right there. Wow. Huh? All right. There is some some airflow in here. Not a lot. So it's getting. Ah. Damn. It's getting pretty warm in here. And do another. Can you hear me? Helmet check. Looks like we're good.
make sure it's tied off at the other end. We need all we can get. Continuing on. Yeah, just tie the black rope and the yellow rope together where we can ease on down the black rope and give us slack. Slow going. Everybody. That's really, really beautiful. Quartz. There's a lot of it in here. It's beautiful. Okay, the black rope's not moving. Did you get signal finally? Yeah. All right. We've done everything here. We need to go down. At least as far as we can go.